good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at McDonald's cards, which are back! Pokemon TCG X McDonald's is back, it is in France, and it has just started. Now, I know there have been rumours and floating around about this for a couple of days, essentially... We didn't have anything which I was happy enough with sharing in terms of viability and all of that. But we now do have proper concrete information. So now I'm here to share it with you. We got a dragon theme going on. And, and I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this. But I do need to just mention nice and quickly. There's games you can play on the McDonald's France website. That's so weird to me. It is so weird to me. Uh, they do seem to be geologged. You'll have to use a, a VPN or whatever to go and actually play the games. They're very simple maze games, so don't get too excited about them. I got bored very, very quickly. But there are, like, legitimate, like, browser games tying in with this McDonald's promotion over in France right now, <laughs> which is utterly bizarre. Um... I'm going to be in France this weekend. I'm, I'm casting the Lorcana Championships, the European Championships, in Disneyland of all places. So I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get to McDonald's. Because I'm not really going to be in France. I'm going to be in Disneyland specifically. But you better believe I'm going to take every opportunity I can to try and head to a McDonald's to get some of these. Because I'm delighted. Now, as well as all the browser games, we've got some other stuff. Shout out to Pokecard X for sharing these images and allowing us to use them. They are very lovely people. And you can see here that you get kind of, you know, your, your cardboard packages with posters and all of that. But cooler than that, we've got little, well, dragon focus stickers. Again, we have a, a proper dragon theme going on here. But they're stickers that you use to complete images of dragons. Which you could do it by looking or you could have an epic game of pin the body part on the dragon Pokemon. And I, and I know Umbreon isn't a dragon, all right? I get it. But my point is, this is fun. I love that they're doing this. I know in previous years they've tried to tie in like a, a new simple game in with the TCG. They're not doing that this year. This year is just a case of, look, it's dragons. Have posters and stickers and then some cards. And I'm going to show you all the cards in a second. But just to be clear, we know it's coming everywhere. Like, we, we've seen this before, ladies and gentlemen. We see this every year. It appears in some random European country and they get it first. And then after that, it starts sneaking its way around everywhere. But McDonald's generally doesn't tend to announce all of this in advance it just kind of happens so it's going to happen we're going to get it everywhere that's not a guarantee i can't say for 100 percent certainty but i do feel pretty confident here that it is going to end up everywhere so yes i know for the time being it's france that is just where it's happened to appear first but make no mistake about it, this is going to be a worldwide promotion. It's always a worldwide promotion. It happens every year. Don't worry, your pretty little heads about it. It's going to be fine. We good? Excellent. So what cards are actually available then? What can you get? Well, again, we need to give a shout out to lovely folks over at Poker Card X because they have gone and put together a lovely little gallery of them and made my job incredibly easy because they're awesome. Obviously, all the card images are in French here. That should be obvious, <laughs> but just in case. So let's go through an order of our 15 cards. And firstly, we've got Charizard, but it's an old Charizard. It's Charizard from Vivid Voltage, I believe, which is bizarre, but kind of awesome. Yeah, they go, they, they're not embarrassed here, and I like this. We're going for... Sword and Shield era cards. We're at the end of year two of Scarlet and Violet. And they've gone for Sword and Shield era cards. I have no issue with this. I am leaning into this. But as a fun little side note. If I search on PKMNcards.com for Charizard. This Charizard isn't even on page one. And okay, it, it does get the TCG Classic cards. But still, I love this. This makes me happy. You've got yourself... Leon there on the artwork as well, because that's what they were doing at the time. 
I like this. It's pretty cool. It's not legal. Remember, we had a big to-do with an EV a couple of years ago. It is now confirmed that McDonald's cards are only legal if the regular version is legal. We've got a reprint of the Pikachu from 151 as a hollow. I adore this. This makes me absolutely delighted. Because this was just your regular, ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill common Pikachu from 151. And now they're reprinting it as a hollow. I think that is absolutely brilliant. Because, I mean, look, all of these cards, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, they've all got M24. Now, it says M24 FR because, obviously, like I say, I'm showing you the French versions here. But they've all got M24 in the bottom left-hand corner. And so, you know, and they've got a number out of 15. So we know that they're different cards. But giving a re... And remember, the McDonald's foil are different to regular foil. So giving the McDonald's foil to a car that was a common before, I think, is a wonderful touch. We've got the Maridon that originally came around in Scarlet and Violet Base here. And again, this is as a hollow. And look, Maridon from Scarlet and Violet Base was a hollow first time round. Wasn't this kind of hollow now, was it? No. No, it wasn't. So I love here that even though we've got a hollow card, not only have you got the new McDonald's numbering, you've got the hollow. I collect the McDonald's cards every year. I love having the little 15 card set, which is identifiable from regular cards that I can go and collect. And also they are making it much easier to collect nowadays, which makes me very happy. We've got an adorable little Jigglypuff coming in here. And again, this is not a particularly recent Jigglypuff. Came around in Fusion Strike. We are talking again here about a Sword and Shield era card. But it's got lovely Serata artwork and I love it. We have Hatena coming in here. Specifically, it's the one that came around in Champion's Path. Yeah, that's right. Champion's Path card coming in here. Uh, I'm not sure entirely who wanted this. And I don't really care. It's nice to have a few surprises. We've got Dragapult. Who doesn't love Dragapult? I love Dragapult. Dragapult, I think, is just an inherently cool Pokemon. Uh, specifically, we've got the one here from Silver Tempest. And what I kind of love about this is that it's a hollow. But it's a Sword and Shield era hollow. So, it's coming over here as well, which I think is a nice little weird touch, and it makes me happy, and I like this. Go team! But yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be pretty happy to um, grab the Dragapult here. The Dragapult is awesome. We've got ourselves a Clodzire, and again, the yellow border gives away that it is a Sword and Shield Quagsire here. And specifically, we are talking about the Quagsire from Vivid Voltage. We have multiple Vivid Voltage cards in this set, which is weird. And I love it. We've got the Coridon from Scarlet and Violet Base to go with the Maridon from Scarlet and Violet Base. There have been multiple playable Coridon released. This is not one of them. We've got ourselves an Umbreon. Who doesn't love Umbreon? Everyone loves Umbreon. Best evolution. Feel pretty strongly about that. And this is an Umbreon that actually came out as a promo card. It's a promo Umbreon. Love this. They've taken a random Umbreon promo and gone and released it as a McDonald's card. And I think that is a wonderful, wonderful touch. I would say I want it, but I really want all of them. We've got a Hydreigon here. It is, a, after all, and I know all the cards aren't dragons here, right? That, that's not escaped me. But it is still a dragon-themed promotion overall. So it's kind of nice that they are throwing a few dragons in. Not enough dragons, for my liking. But there are a few of them coming in. And this one's actually awesome. Because this is one of two cards in this list that is properly legitimately playable. It is the one that came around in Powder Revolved. It's got the ability Try Howl. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards you find to any Pokemon you like. Bearing in mind, Hydreigon EX is like a legit playable deck. And this works off the same evolution line and has a really nice ability. I have seen this card getting into some decks. I am not saying that this is the most playable card in the world by any stretch. But I absolutely am telling you this is like a legitimately viable card. And bearing in mind, apparently half this set was originally released in Vivid Voltage and rotated out years ago. 
Having a viable card in this set is awesome. Oh yeah, but we also get Roaring Moon. Which is like legitimately playable. I am hoping to actually be able to attend a League Cup in my local area. A couple of days before Christmas. We need to sort out some, some child cabin. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is one of my top choices to play at that event. Vengeance Fletchling is a phenomenal attack. Although it's actually Vengeance Fletching. Sorry about that. And 70 damage, 10 more free changing card in your discard pile. Legit great deck. Way better post-surging sparks. Seeing a bunch of playing success over in Japan and has done for a little while now. I'm genuinely going to get a playset of this McDonald's Hollow. So that if I do end up playing this deck at a League Cup before Christmas. Oh, but is it going to be out in... Wait, do I have to try and get a French playset of this over the weekend? Because I don't think it's coming to the UK before Christmas. Oh, that's an interesting question. I'll figure that one out later. We've got ourselves the Dragonite from 151. Yeah, second 151 card we've seen here. And again, it's got the fancy hollow and all of that, which is lovely. It does take away the retreat cost of all of your Pokemon. It's got a really nice ability. But I don't think anyone's actually arguing that this is a particularly viable card. Sorry about that. We've then got the Eevee, but don't get excited. It's not the good Eevee from Surging Sparks that everybody is going to be playing. It is a significantly worse Eevee. Uh, specifically, and you can see for the yellow border, it's a Sword and Shield Era Eevee. It's the one from Fusion Strike. Still a cool card, though. Still one we like. Still Eevee at the end of the day. We've got Rayquaza. We are, of course, carrying on the Dragon theme here. And this is a Rayquaza. Again, we're talking Sword and Shield era. It was a promo card. The second random promo they reprinted in this, this weird McDonald's set. I love that we got multiple cards from Vivid Voltage. Multiple random promos. There's just so much I love about this set. I think McDonald's has done a great job here. And then we've got Drampa. And I don't have a scan of Drampa. I'm sorry. Although I do obviously have an image of it. It's on the screen. So, sorry I couldn't bring you a better image of Drampa. But at least we do have Drampa here. And to be fair, the Drampa does actually show off the foiling here of the McDonald's cards quite nicely. I've always really enjoyed how the McDonald's cards have a different foiling. So... I've shown you the list now. I've shown you the hollows. I've told you everything you need to know about this promotion. No, I don't know when it's coming out in your country that isn't France. Actually, that's a lie. I do know it's coming to Germany very soon as well. That has actually been revealed that it is coming to Germany in the very near future. But, you know what? Lots of this is making me happy. Hopefully, I can pick some up in France over the weekend. If not, then I'll just have to wait till it comes to the UK. And you know what? I'm willing to do that. So yay. But now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this. Tell me how excited you are for this promotion. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Got us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely AB Free, who's been a supporter of ours for a long time now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.